Hi, I'm Becky. My channel is What Beck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today is another episode of Friday Sews. Happy Friday! Friday Sews is a hashtag that many sewing vloggers post under. It was started by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. So if when you finish watching me, of course, you want to go out and check, over, check out those other vlogs, just type in the hashtag in the search bar, Friday Sews. So last week I had my sewing social. So first of all, massive thank you for all the love that I got. I said that I was nervous. I've had quite a few well wishes and I even had some messages on the morning on Instagram, which was really nice for me because on Saturday morning, I was a bit of a nervous wreck. More because, not because of the people that were attending, it was more just making sure that everything was in place and was right for the day and that I had everything that I needed. I didn't 100% know the hall space. I knew that there are several halls in the building. I've been in the building several times. Didn't know which one we were going in. Wasn't 100% sure of what setup I was gonna be doing. Um, and there's a few tweaks that I've got to make on based on feedback that I got from everybody, but it was really lovely and it was really nice to meet some new people. And everybody was just really, really lovely. And of course, Adele was there from Sofa Serenity, which she probably doesn't realise it, but for me, it was a little bit of moral support. And then Adele and I went to my favourite Aladdin's Cave shop afterwards. She's heard me talk about it and she's obviously watched some of my vlogs with the stuff that I've shared. And I said to her, I said, oh, it's, it's, it doesn't look like much from outside. Um, I said, but I'm happy to take you. And when you get in, you'll realise what I mean by it's an Aladdin's cave and there is stuff everywhere. So if you don't like pulling stuff out, you probably wouldn't like the shop. But so we went there after we'd done the day, which was quite nice. And I will show you what I got from there as well. So the first thing I got made up this week was what I got done at Sewing Social, which is this lovely piece here that you can see. There's a bit of a funny story. I did take my Mabel with me and the high cuff sweater from the assembly line pattern because I just didn't have a chance on Friday night. I was too busy playing mum as a taxi driver and I didn't have a chance to get any of the stuff cut out that I wanted to. So I grabbed these because they were already cut and when I got there, I got my Mabel pattern out to sew and realised that I'd left a pattern piece at home and it was kind of an important pattern piece, which was probably quite lucky because I was doing lots of chit chat. Um, so I was able to get this out and focus on this. So this is the high cuff sweater and it's in this gorgeous fabric that the lovely Sally from the Staffordshire Sewist gave me. It was a remnant piece that she had. She originally got this fabric from Rainbow Fabrics. I'll pop a picture in of the high cuff sweater assembly line pattern so you can see what it is. Um, but essentially it's a woven pattern. It's got some nice bust darts in it. I don't know if you can even see the bust darts can't really see it but they are there and um, they come at a great point on me and then you have like a ribbon that you add which means that you've still got the flexibility to get it on over your head um, and then you've got this beautiful high cuff at the back hence the high cuff sweater um, beautiful sort of shaping at the back now obviously I will put in some footage of me uh, wearing it I've included my perfectly me label um, and I love it. And you know what? It's such an easy make. Now I'm terrible. I didn't take my instructions with me, guys. I just kind of figured that I knew what I was doing and I did. I didn't have any problems. I'm not sure if it's the way that the instructions would tell you to do it, but I think it's come together beautifully. But I would recommend this pattern for a beginner because I did read through the instructions. They are very good. They do hold your hand through the process. It's a straightforward make. It's not complex at all. And yeah. I recommend this pattern highly. So I'm really, really pleased with this. And because of my Me Make May challenge at the moment, I'm obviously wearing one piece, one different piece every day. Now, obviously I've tried this on to share with you, but um, I'm waiting for the right opportunity to wear it. Because normally I would put a new make on straight away uh, because I'm only allowed to wear things once in my challenge. Obviously if I chose to, I could do it a bit more, but I really want to stick to my challenge for as long as I possibly can. Um, yeah, so I haven't put it on and I haven't worn it yet, but I do love this and I'm looking forward to getting the wear out of it. I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm going to style it with through me, my May. Don't really have a lot, um, but it will go with, but we'll find something. So that's the first thing I got made up. So the other thing that came out of the sewing social was this gorgeous fabric. Um, the lovely Esther bought with her and it was on the swaps table. Now I know Adele spotted this fabric uh, straight away and I said to her, oh, I really wanted that. She said, you can have it. So I was really, really grateful. 
that she let me have this fabric. It's only a metre of fabric. So on Sunday, I had my little date day with my partner. It was lovely. We went to Foxton Locks, really enjoyed it. If you live over in the Northamptonshire, Leicestershire area, Foxton Locks is just, it's a beautiful walk day out. And if I grew up on boats when I was a kid, my, my grandparents had one, my mother had one. Um, and we had one right up until my stepfather died. So I do really miss having a boat and the boating life is just serenity really. But um, Fox and Locks is a set of locks. It's about seven different locks, but it's quite well engineered and it's just a nice, it's a lovely walk. It's an outdoor walk. You've got picnic areas. There's a little museum there. There's a waterfront there and it's lovely to do. We went and did that. But by the time I got home, it was about three o'clock and in truth, Scott, Scott Styles, in my other half, true Scott style. he went off to the pub and I came home and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I'd had no internet, so I couldn't exactly, all my TV, everything's hooked up through my internet. I was, I've been going crazy the last two weeks. Um, but I thought I would sit and do some cutting out and then if I was in the mood, I'd sew. So I had a mass cutting out session of Tabitha t-shirts and that is what I made with this. So here she is in all of her glory. This is the Tabitha T, and I lower the neckline on this. So the Tabitha T-shirt is a pattern from the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. I'm sure most of you know that pattern, but I will link the book down below if you don't. But the T-shirt line usually comes up quite high. So I lower that just, just for my own sanity because it makes it a lot easier. I've put cuffing on the end of the T. I've put the, um, obviously the ribbing on and then I've just hemmed the bottom really nicely. And I'm actually really impressed with my hem on this. Um, I did the pink because you've got these little points of fuchsia pink all through. I did consider doing a navy ribbon but you can see I've got a bit of a thing for pink. I mean, I've got more pink here. I really do have a thing for pink at the moment. So yeah, really pleased with this. It was a really nice fabric to work with as well. It did, it did exactly what it was told. And I love the way this looks on. And again, I don't know what I'm gonna pair this with. And ironically, I will put some footage in here of me wearing it. Ironically, I'd filmed obviously the day before my wardrobe and the challenge. And I'd noticed that I had no planes. I was gonna really struggle from a what I'm including solids point of view throughout this month. So what do I go and do? I cut out a patterned top, but I love it and I'm gonna get to wear it and it will be really nice. So yeah, that was the second thing I got made up, which was the top of the t-shirt from Tilly and the Buttons. So I had a mass cutting top of the T um, session. Now these ones aren't finished because I realized, because I'd actually got my Mabel out when I got home to finish and realized I'd got no pink fabric left. Now I, I lit, lit pink fabric, pink thread left. So I whipped these up on the overlocker, as you can see my overlocker thread, um, but none of the hemming's been done. And actually I've tried this on my daughter, I've got to take this up. So I'm making her a pair of pajamas I'd shared in my selfless so that that's what I was going to make. I ended up making the ones too small. I'll pop a picture in the ones my daughter are in, my youngest daughter who inherited the ones I was originally going to make. So I'm making my eldest now. And I've done the Tabitha t-shirt. I've actually remembered to put the sleeve on this one. And she wants it cropped a little bit more. So I've got that there. But I ordered some thread. That is now here. I actually ordered some Mariflex as well. So I'll be using the Mariflex for this just so I can get that finished off and then I need to go ahead and make the trousers for her. But that is just another tab of the t-shirt pattern. I have raised the neckline slightly on hers because um, she didn't need it as low and it would end up being really funny on her shoulders if I kept it as low for her. And I will obviously just take it up that little bit more now she's tried it on um, so I know exactly where it needs to be hemmed to. And yeah, I'll get that finished off this weekend. It's gonna be one of my plans tonight to do some finishing, but I'm really, really pleased with that as well. And then I just need to hem the sleeves on that too. And then I got myself a solid fuchsia pink because, you know, if I have to have plain, it's got to be bright and bold. Um, Tabitha t-shirt, but I have done a three quarter length sleeve on it and I've actually ended the sleeves with some fuchsia ribbon. I wanted to have that kind of look, but I thought that this would go with a number of things in my wardrobe. So again, I've lowered the neckline for this. I've done a narrow shoulder adjustment, which I have to do with all of my um, Tilly and the Buttons patterns. 
and um, I just need to hem this to finish it. But I think this will go really nicely with the mauve skirt that I shared with you last week. Um, it will pair quite nicely picking out some of the fuchsias, uh, fuchsia colourings that's in that. So yeah, it's just a plain t-shirt top. It's quite boring really, but I need to make some boring pieces to go with my eccentric pieces in my wardrobe. So that was the other thing I got done and I just need to finish that off this weekend, but I'm really pleased with that. The reason I've done a three quarter length sleeve is because I wanted to wear it now. So through like the spring before we go into summer, just so I can get a bit more wear out of it. So I'm just going to go and grab the fabric that I got from uh, shopping with Adele. I, I will show you the last make that I got, but I just want to go and grab that first. So my last whip, um, and it is a whip because... I have noticed something when I pulled it out to show you. I was just about to go and finish it off, but I'm gonna to have to go in and do some work on it because I've not caught something, so I'm gonna to have to do some unpicking. So these are the Stella Joggers by Tilly and the Buttons. Now I haven't hemmed them. I had to try them on my daughter because I needed to know how much I needed to take them up by. And it's quite a bit I need to take them up by. I've cut, I had to cut them back and then, then do that. But I've just realized that I haven't caught this bit here, which is really annoying. So these are just a pair of sort of jogging shorts. Um, my daughter loves them and lives in them. And she's been asking for some for a little while. So I'm gonna take these up to the appropriate side, tie, um, appropriate fit. I'm gonna do some unpicking. Luckily I haven't overlocked the top band and get that secured in and then then finished off and I will probably do some top stitching around the top just to give them that more jogger feel so if we ignore this side and just look at this side they're lovely um but yeah she just really wanted some jogger type shorts I've done this with a uh not French terry a sweatshirting fabric because she wants to wear them now and I just thought it's a bit chilly for shorts now so I've a sweatshirting fabric to do them and these are from first fabrics this uh, fabric i love this fabric i've got made myself a hoodie in this fabric um, but i thought this is perfect for her. i wanted to try and see whether the stella pattern would work for shorts was essentially what i was going for so i think it's worked okay to be fair i think there might be a few tweaks that i need to make down the bottom to make it slightly come out a little bit make it a little bit straighter but i'm going to play with it i'm going to finish these ones off see how she feels in them and then we'll go from there so that was the last thing that i was working on this week but like i said i've still got to finish hemming them sort out what's happened with not catching in the pocket and then just finish these ones off as well so i've got two fully finished garments and then I've got three whips that will probably be an evening's work, just hemming them and finishing them off. So I think I've been really productive from a sewing point of view this week. And I haven't really made any buttons this week. I'm supposed to be building up my stock for my Etsy shop and I've just been terrible. So I'm going to get some of that done over the weekend as well. So Adele and I went off and had a look, sorry for the rustling, went off and had a look at my local, at my local, um, fabric shop in Northamptonshire it's Fabric Emporia and they're based on the Kettering Road in Northampton and when you look outside it's like a you can't really tell there's not a sign on there you can see the fabric in the window um it's not in the best area but when you go into this shop it's just oh, I've talked about it so many times and she's got so many different fabrics and they're really inexpensive and because she does a lot of um saris and makes a lot of things up for the community locally. Um, she does it as she sells it and what have you. She's got a lot of sari material and lovely embroidered material and different materials in there, which is really, really nice to see. So many beautiful, bright and colorful trims. And her dad and I walked in and as you walk in, all the viscose rolls are in front of you and they're literally piled on each other. <coughs> Sorry, they're literally piled on each other. And we were there trying to get through it. And at one point, Adele wanted a particular fabric out. So she's trying to pull it. I'm holding back the rolls. And then we swap places. It was quite amusing, really. But we were enjoying ourselves. And it was really nice to shop with Adele because she likes to take her time and look, which is what I like to do. And usually when I go shopping with people, I really struggle. And because everything is everywhere, I like to really have a good look because there's usually some gems in there. 
Now I was fairly reserved in what I bought. I thought I was really good. And actually the lady turned around and said, she asked who Adele was with me because I do go in there quite regularly. And then she told Adele how, that I spend a lot of money in there normally. And I was just like, okay. So I felt really guilty for just spending 26 pounds. So you might recognize this fabric, I've had it before, um, but I burnt this fabric. I made my penny dress out of it and I was desperate for some more. So it's a wide fabric, which is quite nice and I've only got a meter. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I just love this color so much on me. I had to get some more. I don't know what this fabric is. I think it's a viscose linen because it's got a little bit of drape to it and you can see it does crease, but it's just beautiful. It's like an, a sort of emeraldy green color with these purple flowers on it. So I did get some more of that. I got basically the last of what was on the roll in the shop. So that was the first piece of fabric I got. I think that was only four pound a meter. So it was really inexpensive. Then I saw this. Now this is a bit out there for me. It's definitely a wacky becky kind of fabric, but the colorings are slightly different to what I'd go for. And I think there was two and a half meters of this left on the roll. And again, it was four pound a meter. So it's obviously some kind of poly jersey, but um, it's just wicked. I think it's fab. So I am either thinking the kilo wrap dress with this or even a Tabitha t-shirt dress because I really like this. I could just make a t-shirt out of it because I think this would make a beautiful, just a beautiful simple tea as well, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't made my mind up. So that is another fabric that I got from there. And then the final piece of fabric that I got is this gorgeous fabric and I'm going to make the peppermint wide leg trousers in it. It's a really nice weight and it feels really nice quality. I'm not entirely sure what the fabric is. It's a cotton of some sorts, but it's got a sheen to it. So it's almost like got a sateen sheen to it, but I think it would make a beautiful pair of trousers. So um, I got three meters of this because I wasn't 100%. Adele was looking it up while I was in there, but the shop was so busy by this point. I just went, give me three meters. Um, and I'll make something else if I've got anything left over. I mean, it'd make a lovely blazer. It's just that really good sort of weight, but it is a really nice quality fabric. And that was all the fabric I got. That was everything. So I was quite impressed with that. So that's what I have been up to this coming week. I have intentions. I've got to get all of those fabrics washed. Like I said, I'm going to get those pieces finished off. And then I will focus on some button making this weekend, some earring making this weekend. But because it's only like you get a small amount of time to work with resin, I'm kind of, I know that I can do that and then go on to doing a bit of sewing. We've got no plans for the bank holiday. We will have the coronation on the background. I'm not going to any of the street parties or anything like that. Not because I'm a miserable cow, but just because um, I'm still trying not to heavily socialise. So I'm going to avoid some of the celebrations that are going on as a result, because too many people together, I don't want to catch anything. I don't want to get ill again. Which I know is a bit interesting to say when, you know, I did my sewing social last week, but we were all in a large room and I was still able to keep my distance some of the time. So, yeah. So I've got some sewing plans this weekend and this coming week and they are to finally get done my Hope Woven extension pack. I'm going to do all three. I'd like to get all three of them done this week so I can do that review and get that up um, with my original Hope and share with you my thoughts on that. So... I need some more dresses anyway, and I think that would be perfect. And some of them are very work, work appropriate, but some of them are also very casual. So I think depending on fabric choices, that will work well. And I do have lots to choose from. I'm not 100% sure what fabrics I'm using yet at all. So I'm gonna go and dig them out. So that's everything from me today. Um, I think it's quite a short one. I won't know until I actually edit this, but yes. Happy Friday, have a fantastic week. Don't forget to click that thumbs up and that subscribe button if it's something you want to see more of from me. And don't forget on Sunday, I will be sharing with you exactly what I've been making and what's going in the purge pile from my Me Made Bay challenge that I've been doing all week. So take care and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing, bye.